If it isn't already, then TikTok needs to be a part of your music marketing plan right now. So many new artists have seen their music go viral on the platform in recent years. Just think about artists like Lil Nas X, Doja Cat, Ash Nico, Conan Gray, even Dreya Mac. And literally, that's just the tip of the iceberg. But with new content trending on the app every single day, that'll be the best way to find new audiences and grow your fan base on TikTok. So we put together a list of 15 quick fire content ideas that you can use on TikTok as a musician to get really creative with your video content. This list is all about keeping your music engaged and potentially getting your music listened to by thousands of new listeners. But before we jump into all of that, make sure you like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you do not miss a single video. You know exactly what to do, you can get down in the comments and we'll be in the comments, drop a question or a comment and we'll get back to them as soon as we can and as much as we can, so let's get into it. The big difference between TikTok and other social media platforms is literally the rate and the pace at which the content moves. TikTok is constantly churning out different content, trends and challenges based on what gets the most attention from online users at that specific moment in time. So if your TikTok content is starting to look tired, then here's some different ways that you can start to utilize the platform and produce more creative and exciting videos for your fans. We've got 15 of these to rattle through. So in keeping with the fast paced nature of TikTok, then these are going to be quick fire ideas. But remember, you can always make use of the timestamps and the markers simply to rewind or pause and really make notes of anything that you're interested in. But just before we get started, one really important thing to mention. But if you're an artist planning to blow up on TikTok, then you'll actually officially need to release your music to the platform. And I mean, the only way to do that is through a professional distributor like Ditto Music. And luckily, we've got a 30 day free trial available right now. So hit the link in the description and give it a go. First one, post cover version. So let's start with an obvious one. Cover songs make up a really big portion of TikTok's most shared content. Which is great news for you as an artist because obviously we all know that they are probably the most easiest types of content to make. The reason why cover songs work so effectively for growing your audience and reaching new fans is because it's an organic way of boosting the exposure for your own music. Simply just by leveraging songs that are already well known and fan favourites. But the standard of cover songs on TikTok is quite high. There's already loads of great musicians dropping cover clips on a regular basis. Like this one for example by Martina Lin, whose entire TikTok is completely devoted to cover songs from popular artists. Another artist who nails their cover song strategy is TikTok creator and musician Carson Elliott. He uses some really cool and unique instrumental techniques and by doing that he creates a more unique twist to your standard cover song. Things like changing up the original style or genre or even going a cappella. Incorporating a different sound is a great way and a unique way to transform a normal cover song into something that's going to bring people in and get them excited about you and eventually allow them to become fans of your music. So the second one is to respond to trends. When it comes to making TikTok content, you'll see that trends are your best friend. Whether it's a lip sync trend, some kind of transition or anything else. Basically, trends fuel the TikTok algorithm. Trends are so effective, loads of major artists are jumping on them. One good example is when Taylor Swift jumped on the I understand the assignment trend. And it was simply to show and promote vinyl and merch available for her latest release. New TikTok trends are popping up all the time, so really keep an eye out on what's getting the most views. And if you don't want to just jump on the back of a trend that's been overdone or, you know, uh, dying out, you can get brave and actually try to start a trend of your own. And if it's a good one, you actually might start building a trend around you and your music. So the next one is worth mentioning, unreleased demos. And the great thing about TikTok is the ability to experiment with your releases and get feedback from your followers in real time. You could post unreleased previews of the tracks that you're working on right now to see which ones connect with your fans most. And if there's a standout favorite, then it'll be easier to decide on which one to release and pour that marketing budget into. BBC Sound 2022 winner Pink Panthers is a great example of setting this strategy into action. She posted snippets of her songs on TikTok long before they ever reached Spotify. Her videos racked up hundreds of thousands of likes. And then when her music finally hit Spotify, people were already clamoring just to stream it. So the next one is duet and collaborate. The duet option is a unique feature to TikTok that basically lets you make video responses to other people's videos. Making duet videos is such an easy win for artists. They're pretty simple 
to make and it's a quick way to reach a untapped fan base of another artist. And especially if you're trying to network on the app. It'll help with trying to find other like-minded creatives or find influencers or other brands to team up with. And you can get things going yourself by encouraging other artists or fans to do a duet at one of your videos. Singer-songwriter Stacey Ryan tapped in on this when she posted an open verse challenge video on TikTok. Asking other TikTokers to add their verse to her song. Then when Zayk dropped his verse on it, it racked over 8 million likes and 4 million views. Another one of TikTok's own unique video features is reply to comments. If someone leaves a comment to one of your videos that you think would make a great piece of shareable content, you can create a video reply to that specific comment and it'll show up on TikTok's For You feed just like any other post. And artists can use these types of replies to take song requests from fans. Like this one for example, and invite your followers then to give some content inspiration for the future. It will also help you create and upload original sounds to the TikTok library. And there you can help show off your music talent, all while giving users exactly what they wanna hear and see, so it's a win-win. And another one is to make them laugh and not everybody is necessarily a comedian. We can all make somebody laugh. And like I said, it's easier said than done, but do not be afraid to be funny. If you've got natural charisma, then utilize it, use it to your advantage and make funny videos that show off your sense of humor. Now this might not be for everyone and that's okay. Like I'm not even too sure it's for me. I do see myself as a little bit of a funny person, but I'm focused here. Like some of us are born comedians and some of us are just not. And I mean, you could do something as simple as putting together some funny lyrics for a well-known song, making a cover out of that or even posting commentary on a hot topic or a trend listen if you're looking for some comedy goal inspiration or just looking for a little laugh then make sure you check out michael oldag's channel his page has loads of comedy sketches alongside his own music another thing you can do is be a day in the life vlogger breaking up your more music based vids with personal content. Sharing content about your daily life can really build a deeper connection between you and your followers. Blog style content has become some of the most highly watched content all over social media. Take short snippets of your day and then ultimately stitch them together in a longer form video then post on your page. Many of these style videos follow a day in a life format. And I mean, you don't have to take it too serious if you don't want to. Like this one, for example, by at BTAV Music. But just have some fun with it. Vlog the small events as well as the big one. You'll be surprised about how much people are interested about knowing all these little random things about your daily life. Like for example, your go-to drinks order or what you get up to on your days off. So another one is documenting your journey. So similar to vlogging, this is a really good way to get your followers invested into your TikTok content. And if you wanna keep them coming back, the easiest way to do it is to just document your creative process and your creative journey. Fans know that they can get an exclusive insight into what projects you're working on. And they can do this all just by visiting your TikTok page. Then they're more likely to hit follow and keep tabs. That way they'll be the first to know all the big news or when music drops. Another thing you could do is also talk about your music career, your journey, where you came from, how you got to where you are right now. Offer fans an insight into your past, your present, and your future. Another thing you can do on TikTok is offer up your own skills. You're a musician, so that means you've got talents to share. A lot of fans and followers may be aspiring musicians themselves, so why not utilize your TikTok to start sharing and teaching what you know? Whether that's how to come up with a new hook, how to write lyrics, or even how to produce tracks. Videos on music production and making beats are particularly popular. And if you're watching this right now, then potentially you already probably know a little bit about how to make music, but it's so important to keep those videos engaging and exciting too. It's easy to make an informative video all about mixing a track, but no one's gonna enjoy that necessarily if they're just watching it and it's boring. So think about ways that you can make the learning aspect of these videos a bit more fun. Another thing you can do is take fans behind the scenes. Behind the scenes footage is one of the most classic and below footage that you can post to users that follow you on TikTok. By nature, humans are nosy. So we're all kind of interested in seeing on what happens and what goes into the making of something and how it comes to life. Whether it be a track, an EP, an album, or even behind the scenes to a photography shoot or a video shoot. This TikTok from Anne-Marie, for example, takes fans behind the scenes of a recent music video shoot. If you're headed out on a road, you can start filming and keeping a regular a tour diary. You can record a writing session in your studio or even maybe show fans how you design and execute your visuals for your album artwork. Have a think about behind the scenes stuff that you'd be interested in seeing from one of your favorite artists and then do that. Another thing you can do as long as you have a thousand followers on TikTok 
is host a live stream or even a Q&A session. Since the COVID pandemic hit, live streaming has been the only ways that fans can interact with their favorite artists in person. And although we're coming out of the other side and slowly seeing a return of live music performances, live streaming itself isn't going anywhere. TikTok supports live streaming through their feature Go Live, which allows you to go live to all of your followers for an unlimited amount of time. But going live doesn't necessarily mean you have to go live and do a performance. Like I said, you're, you can make up anything. You can do a Q&A session and really get the questions flowing and going. And yes, you can simply just hop on a live casually or you can announce it ahead of time. People know on your socials that you'll be going live at a certain time and really build that first engagement, that first impression and get the numbers and the interaction up. And then simply open the conversation by asking followers to comment below any questions that they want you to answer. It could be about you, your music, inspiration, life, whatever makes sense for you and your brand and the type of music that you make. Another one you can do is to share your playlists. You're not just making music as an artist, you're listening to it, everyone is. Sharing the music that you're into right now is an easy way to make connections with people who have similar tastes and you can then turn those people into fans and or followers. You could simply post a video like, if you like these kind of songs, then you'll definitely love my music. And then within that, subtly slip your own track within the playlist. Or you could offer up a choice of different songs that are tailored to a type of mood or vibe. I mean, there's loads of ways to put a twist on it and make it a lot more interesting. See, this one's really cool. It's all about deconstructing or analyzing a song. Maybe there's a song that you know the story behind, whether that be one of your own or one of your favorite artists' songs. You could explain that song in a TikTok video and give a whole new meaning or understanding to that song from the content you've created. And you can approach this by talking about the production of a track, the samples that were used, where they came from, even down to what effects, what mixing and mastering techniques were used on this track. That sort of thing could work. And the same sort of thing could be done with lyrics. Lots of content creators and musicians create videos analyzing, deconstructing and breaking down lyrics of their own or other people's. And then by doing this, the audience on TikTok get a deeper understanding or deeper meaning of that song and the lyrics and what they mean. The next one is to, you know, boss a little move. <laughs> or a few, I don't know. Just like comedy, this isn't necessarily for everyone. But viral dance routines to specific songs and tracks are undeniably a great piece of TikTok content bait. You don't need to be a professional dancer, you just need to own it. Most of the people who use TikTok aren't necessarily going to be qualified dancers. And not everyone necessarily has the time to learn a full TikTok or any kind of dance routine or challenge. Viral content like dance challenges are engaging all through their creative simplicity. Simply, if you come across a trend that you like, give it a go, jump on it. You could even come up with a routine that's fairly easy to follow and imitate. Post a video of it on your own TikTok page and then ask fans to respond by posting a video of themselves giving it a go. And last but definitely not least, keep it local. Like most other social media platforms, TikTok's algorithm is influenced by location-based targeting and geotagging. If you're already an avid TikTok user, you probably already noticed that your feed is always populating with content related to your geographical region or your local community. So if you're already on TikTok, you probably already noticed a lot of content from people within your local area coming on your feed, even if you're not following them. Making content that resonates with people from your local area, your local hometown, can really help build your following too, which is literally how most artists start building a fan base anyway. You could post a video of you in your local recording studio or even a music venue. Give a shout out to your hometown, your city, so all your viewers and followers or potential followers know exactly where you're based and where you're from and where you are, as well as any related popular hashtags that link to your area. A good example of an artist who does this really well is Scouse rapper Hazy who as you can see, always mentions Liverpool in his videos on TikTok and in fact, all social media. And it's just a way to big up your hometown. If you live in a big tourist destination, for example, you could post a tour of your hometown with visits to all the famous landmarks and the lesser known sites too. And if you don't, that's fine too. You can take viewers to your local coffee shop, corner shop, food spot, whatever means something to you in your city. 
Show some of the local slang and get some of your followers to guess the meaning. And I mean, the ideas are endless and as you are local yourself, then you'll know best what kinds of content will be most engaging for people in your area. Okay then, so that was a lot to take in, but we made it. 15 easy win content ideas for artists and musicians on TikTok. But like I said, you made it people. Big respect if you're still locked in and you're still here. Hopefully you know you don't necessarily need to do all of these 15 ideas. It just allows me to give you guys something to kind of work with. Maybe two of the ideas will be perfect. Maybe just one, maybe five, maybe half of them. But you've got something there that you can play with. But nothing's stopping you. If you've got the time and the inspiration, go for it. Do all 15. But even just handpicking a couple of these ideas will definitely just mix up and give you a nice new energy for your TikTok page. You'll have new content and it'll give your feed a little bit of a needed refresh. Like I mentioned before, the TikTok goalposts are always and forever moving. So keep an eye out for what other artists and creatives are doing in the same realm. So make sure you're not missing out on any trends, any challenges, or any new in-app features. So from me, Vitor, I wanna say peace, love, and I appreciate you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you do not miss a single video. Get down in the description, check out the links there, and make sure you get down in the comments, drop a comment or a question, and we'll get back to as many as we can. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace and love.